Hello and welcome to another Schiller training course. In this session, we'll learn how to delete the EGR system using WinOS for the EDC 16C34 ECU. We'll cover what the EGR system is and its purpose, how EGR works to reduce emissions, pros and cons of EGR delete, how to remove EGR using ECU remapping, EGR stands for Exhaust Gas Recirculation. With increasingly strict environmental regulations, various technologies have been developed to reduce emissions, and EGR is one of them. Nitrogen oxides NOx are a major contributor to air pollution. Dizel exhaust contains CO, SO2, unburned hydrocarbons, soot, and especially NOx, which poses serious environmental and health risks. The EGR system helps reduce NOx emissions by recirculating exhaust gases into the intake. This reduces combustion temperatures, which limits NOx formation, especially in diesel engines. NOx forms when combustion temperatures reach 1800 to 2000, 100 degrees Celsius in diesel engines and 850 to 1400 degrees Celsius in petrol engines. At these temperatures, nitrogen and oxygen molecules bond to form NOx. Since we can't eliminate nitrogen from the air intake, the best way to reduce NOx is by lowering combustion temperature. Lowering combustion temperature does reduce NOx, but it also reduces engine power. To maintain performance, more fuel is needed per cycle. Depending on the EGR system, this can increase fuel consumption by 2 to 10% when comparing identical engines with and without EGR. How does EGR reduce temperature? By recirculating a portion of exhaust gas into the intake, oxygen levels in the combustion chamber decrease, which lowers peak temperatures. However, since exhaust gases are hot, recirculating them directly would raise, not lower, combustion temperature. That's why EGR systems include a cooling unit to reduce the exhaust gas temperature before re-entry into the engine. In performance tuning, we may disable or tune EGR settings through the ECU maps. Benefits of EGR delete include improved throttle response, smoother operation, reduced fuel consumption, cleaner engine internals, extended engine or turbo life, and lower maintenance costs. Additional benefits, less oil contamination, fewer DPF issues, and lower overall engine temperatures. With years of ECU calibration experience, Schiller can identify and disable EGR control maps across gasoline and diesel ECUs. We offer complete training on EGR map detection and deletion. At Schiller, EGR delete can be done using various remapping techniques. Our training courses teach how to identify and edit EGR maps in the EMS and how to perform full EGR removal through ECU remapping. Now, let's see how to find the EGR map in EDC 16C34. We've already loaded the original ECU file. In all EDC 16C34 ECUs, the EGR table is located right after a specific pattern in the file. Switching to 2D view, you can clearly see the reference table EGR is located immediately after that. When selected, it appears as a 12 by 1 table. This table is RPM-based. To disable EGR, 
simply select all values in this table and set them to zero. This removes EGR functionality from the ECU. This training session explained the function and environmental role of the EGR exhaust gas recirculation system, as well as how to safely and effectively remove it using ECU remapping techniques. After exploring EGR's impact on emissions and performance, the session detailed the process of locating and disabling the EGR map in WinOS for EDC 16C34 ECUs. By setting map values to zero, EGR functionality is removed, leading to enhanced engine response, reduced maintenance, and improved fuel economy. Thanks for watching.